Science Lesson 11. Welcome back, everyone. We're glad to see you again. Can everyone say hello? Hello. Hello. We'll begin this lesson, as usual, with our meditation. So have a seat if you're not sitting already. Yeah, show me your two fingers that we'll use to ground our heart center, right? Our other hand is open in our laps. We take a deep breath in our nose, out our mouth. Good. Close your eyes and let's meditate for just a few minutes. Once we're able to feel our heartbeat here in the center, lay our other hand in our lap. Breathe normally, try and clear your mind. Focus your energy on your center. Breathe, stay focused on your heart center. Okay, nice job everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes, come out of meditation with three deep breaths. Good job. One, in, out. Good. Two. And three. Good, good job. And try and keep your center here, right, throughout the lesson. It'll help you focus, I promise. Okay, stand up and we'll do our warm up together. First, if we remember, oh, stretch, stretch. If you're like me, your shoulders pop every time. And shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. And then we stretch down to our toes. Stretch. And shake it, out. shake it out. Good job. Shake, shake, shake it out. Then what do we do? Spin. Good. How many times? Three times. One, two, three. Woo! Good. And then we jump. 
jump how many times? Three. Three times. Ready? One, two, and three. Great job. Have a seat and we'll get started. Before we move on to today's topic, let's talk a little bit about what we reviewed last lesson, which was the traits of Living things, living things, yeah, non-living things. We've talked a lot about those. Let's focus on living things though, and their traits. Remember we did five traits last time? Remember we made a hand and we labeled them? Yeah, so let's talk about the first one. First one we talked about was, yeah, living things need to eat and Drink. Drink. Very good. Drink. So the first one we talked about was living things need to eat and need to drink water, specifically. Water. Yeah. Who remembers another thing, another trait of living things? What about this one? Breathe. Yeah, I heard it. What was it? Breathe. Breathe. That was another thing. Living things breathe. Breathe, breathe air. <sighs> Very good. What was another one? I heard it. Move, move, right? Remember, living things can move on their own. Move on their own. What was another one? Who remembers? Which was that? Yeah, that's right. Grow. Our fourth one was grow. Remember living things? Grow. Grow to be bigger. And then what was the last one? It was that really hard word. Remember? It starts with re. Re. re Reproduce. Oh, very good. Very good. Reproduce. Reproduce. That was our last one. Living things reproduce. Remember we talked about the chicken or the hen and the egg, and then the egg hatches to the baby chicken who grows, lays eggs. Yeah, reproduce, make more. So living things need food and drink, breathe air, move, grow, and reproduce. Great job. Good. Now we know about living things. So just to recap, non-living things, and it's the opposite, right? So non-living things don't need to eat and don't need to drink. Non-living things don't breathe. Non-living things don't move on their own, like a rock or a chair or this marker. Yeah, non-living things do not grow. They do not grow bigger and bigger. And finally, non-living things do not reproduce. Do not reproduce, don't have babies. Okay, good. So we're actually gonna move on to a new topic today, which is exciting. We're going to talk about soil today. It's kind of a funny sounding word. Let me hear you say soil. 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 Yeah, soil. soil. It's, got, it's got a funny sound in the middle. Let me hear you say oi. 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 Right? So we've got oi in the middle. We've got s, s at the beginning. And l. 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 L at the end. L. So let's put it together. Soil. Soil. Good. Soil. Soil. Pretty good. Let's learn what soil means. So, what is soil? I bet you're all just dying to know. I'll tell you. This is soil. Soil. Yeah, so soil is the top layer of the Earth's surface. I know that's a lot of words thrown at you. Um, we also call it dirt. 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 Soil. Dirt. 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 Same. 
they are the same. For this purpose, they will mean the same thing. So look at this image here. Here's an image of soil. Where do we find soil? It's on the ground, right? Outside. Is this soil right here? No, no, this is soil. Look here at the picture, soil or dirt. Dirt, we're gonna learn about dirt today. Soil. Have you guys felt soil before, right? Have you felt it in your hands outside? I think you probably have at some point or another. Soil, yeah, that's soil. It's a good picture of soil. Who remembers this word for where we live? Very good. The house where we live is our home, home. So we, people, we build our homes on soil, right? See, here's the soil below the house. Here's the home. People build homes on top of soil. All kinds of stuff happens on top of soil. Who else needs soil? Plants need soil to grow, right? They, they get their food from the sun and from the soil. Plants do, yeah. They have to have soil or dirt in order to grow. Plants need soil. Yeah. Animals live in soil too. Animals, yeah. What are some animals that you see in this picture? What do you see? That's right, I see a spider. Do you guys see a spider? What else? Snake. Snake, I see a snake too, living in the soil. What else? I see a bug or an insect, yeah? I see, ooh, a turtle. Do you guys know turtle? Turtle. That's right, an ant. Yep, snake. That's right. Snakes live in the snow soil. And an ant, you said, you saw an ant? What about this? Snake. Snake. Close. Snake is, where's the snake? This is gonna be a worm. Yeah, worm. Oh, there's the snake, yeah. Here's a snake. This? You ready to know what we call this? In English? Snail. 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 Yeah. Remember how we said this was our nail? Put an S. S. Snail. Snail. Good, yeah, that's how that sounds. Snail. 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 Butterfly, we see a butterfly above the soil, right? A butterfly, snail. That's right, we see a bird above the soil. So in summary, we've got a lot of animals. Animals that live in the soil, above the soil, they need the soil, same as the plants. Soil is very important. I want us to make our own diagram of soil, right? Of soil. I want us to talk about the plants, like flowers and trees that we saw, and the animals, like snake and bird, and where they fit into soil. So let's say this is soil. Okay, this is the soil line. So we'll put the sky up here, so you have an idea. That's right, sun, very good, sun, cloud. I'll put some grass. Yeah, so you know. And then here's below the soil. Okay, from what we just looked at, what's something that would grow out of the soil? I heard somebody say it. Yeah. Tree. Right? A tree is something that would grow out of the soil. Because plants need soil, right? So here's the tree. What's another plant? Butterfly. Butterfly, but let's stick to plants. 
right now? Plants, like a tree. What about a flower? That would work, right? A flower? Flower's a plant. Flower needs soil, that's a big flower. Good, flower. Flower needs soil, right? They put their roots into the soil. Mm. Good. <laughs> so what were some of the animals we saw below in the soil? Do you remember? What were some of the animals? We saw, I heard you say ant, right? Ant? Ant? Ants can live below the soil. Pretend like that's an ant. Ants. Ants. What was another animal that you saw below the soil? Did we see, what was it? Who remembers the English word for that? Snake. Snake. We saw snake. Snake can live under the soil. Snake. Very good. Spider. Spider. Spider can live under the soil. Spider. What else? English. <laughs> you got to tell me in English. I think what you guys are trying to say is lizard. Lizard. Let me hear you say lizard. Lizards. Lizards can definitely live under the soil. I don't really know how to draw a lizard. So this will just have to work. Lizard. <laughs> kind of looks like a cat, but whatever. <laughs> what else? Who can think of something else that might live below the soil? You got to know it in English. <laughs> Let's do the one that I showed you guys. Who remembers that one? We just went over it. Close. Snail. 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 Yeah, it's a snail. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Shh. You're doing a good job. So there it is. Yeah, you guys got to tell me in English. Frog. Very good. Frog can definitely live above or under soil. I don't know how to draw a frog. Uh, uh, pretend like that's a frog. <laughs> Ribbit? Ribbit? Good. Frog. What was it? Butterfly. Would a butterfly be in the soil or above? Yeah, above, right? Oh, thanks. Cool. Very good. It's gonna be in English. Bird. That was a good one. I heard bird. Would a bird be down here? No. Right, no, it would be up here, huh? Yeah. Bird. Oh, thank you. Good, good job, guys. So we've got below the soil, above the soil. They all need the soil in one way or another. Mm. Hey, are these living or non-living things? Very good, very good. The tree, the flower, the animals, the insects, they're all living things, right? They all use the soil differently. Okay, now we will talk a little bit more about the layers of the soil down here. So hang in there. So please pay your attention to the PowerPoint again, or the TV. Layers of soil. So when I say layers, I mean it's gonna be layers, right? Different 
layers, like on a cake, right? Cake, we have cake frosting, right? Layers, layers, very good. Very good. Let's look at the layers of soil. First, we're gonna start with soil. Sometimes, sometimes called top soil, but we're gonna call it soil. Let's spell it together. What letter is this? S. O. I. And then L. Soil. 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 Right? We're gonna start at the top. I'll draw this for reference, actually. Just like we were doing earlier. Right, so here is the line. Yeah. So here's above ground, below ground. Okay. Look at this image here. Oh, I actually think I almost heard it. We call this sand. Sand. Yeah. Let me hear you guys say sand. 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 Good. Sand. Sand is going to be next. Chair is a layer. S. A. N. D. Sand. Sand. Usually when we think of sand, we think of the beach, right? The beach where we swim in the ocean, sand. Sand, there's also sand in the soil. Let's see what else is in soil. Ugh, that looks messy, huh? Can everybody say clay? Clay. 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 Yeah, clay. There is clay in the soil too. It shares a layer for our purposes with sand. So spell clay with me. C. C. L. A. Y. Very good. Clay. This one. Does anybody recognize that? Ooh, very good. I heard it. Rock. 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 Shh. It's often called bedrock when we're talking about soil. But for our class, we're going to use rock. Rock. Very good. Rock is, for our class, rock is going to be the last one. What letter is this? The first one of rock. Very good. C. C. K. K. Very good. Rock. Rock. Without getting into too many of the details, these are the three layers of soil that we will use in our science class, okay? So I'll show you what it looks like. Look here at this image. Similar to what we'll draw on the board if you look at this picture. So if you take a look at this image, something similar to what we're drawing on the board. At the top is soil, right? Here is going to be soil. Here it's going to be clay and sand. And here is going to be rock. rock. Mm. <laughs> so let's start at the bottom with rock. Lots of big rocks. Rock is the heaviest, right? Rocks are heavy, right? Oh, heavy rocks. That's why they're at the bottom, rock. And then we've got clay and sand. Often looks like this. Clay and sand. 
Yeah, with little rocks. Good. Rock? Clay? And sand. So up here is the soil. Or dirt. Dirt, right? That's the soil that we all see when we scoop it up. Soil. We'll do an experiment on soil too. So soil, um, I'm just going to color this this. This is our soil, right? This is where the roots of our tree, right, grows down into the soil. That's where everything grows. Soil. Right? So it's below the ground, here in the soil, that we see a lot of the animals and the plants that we were talking about, like an ant, right? Could be down here. I don't think a monkey would be down here. I don't think so. I've never seen a monkey below ground. Mm -mm. But a, a worm or a snake, right? I want to do a cute little worm. Snail, right? Snake. All kinds of stuff beneath the soil. Okay? Soil. We're going to do a lot with soil, but our first activity. So I have a worksheet for you all here, right? Mm, yeah, it's got the layers of the soil. Here's above ground. We'll go over this together. Here's above ground. Soil, sand and clay, and then rock, right? You're probably wondering, what is this, right? So one of the animals that we haven't talked about, <coughs> that I probably should have, is a groundhog. That's funny, right? Let me hear you say ground. 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 Hog. Hog. Groundhog. Good. Groundhog is one of many that can also live in the soil down here. I certainly don't know how to draw a groundhog. We'll just kind of pretend like he's got ring, ring. He's kind of this like hairy looking thing. A groundhog, right? They burrow, right? So groundhogs often crawl up top, right? And then they dig and dig, right? And they often sleep under the ground. Mm. Groundhog. Groundhog. Yeah. So on our coloring page here, we have a sleeping, sleeping groundhog. Yeah, he's sleeping. I wanted to show you guys that there were animals that lived below the soil. A groundhog is one of them. All right, well, so we're going to fill in this picture with colors and maybe a little bit of paint, which is exciting. So I'm gonna pass it out now and you guys follow along. So what I want you all to do is first get out our crayons or colors, right? Our crayons or colors, good job. Yeah, good, just like this. Crayons or colors, you will need them. Your picture looks a little like this, right? We've got half a tree like this. And then what do we have our groundhog is coming out? Yes, your name would be good. So your worksheet looks similar to this, right? What I first want you all to do is color in the layers of soil that we learned today, right? What we'll do first is label them, right? So you're gonna want something to write with, because I want you to label them. So follow along with me. Yeah, it doesn't, you pick a color. 
So here's our bottom layer. Remember, our heavy, oh, our heavy layer. So first, I want us to label the layers together. So starting with the bottom layer, find the layer that's full of rocks. Should be the bottom of your image. And we're gonna write rock on that layer. Label it. Rock, together with me now, is R. O, C, K, rock. Layer your, sorry, no, that's my bad. Label your layer rock, please. Rocks, label this one rock. Rock, this, there. Mm. Close. See the rock, rock, rock. Yeah, so label this layer rock. We're going to have rock, clay and sand, soil. And the bottom one is rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right, rock. There you go. Very good. I want you to write, see that? Down there. Rock. There you go, Nadia. Just like that. Perfect. Rock. Okay, let's move up to the next layer. The next layer. This is the layer where most of the uh, groundhog is sleeping. This layer, here, I'll do it on this side if it makes it easier, is sand and clay. First sand, S, A. N, D, sand. That's right. Yep, yep, it doesn't matter. You can write here or here. Uh, do it here. Very good, yeah. Sand, just like that. Yes, sand. Mm -hmm. You can put it there, yeah, or there. Or there, wherever you want. That's good. Do it there. Very good, very good. But we can't forget, it's not just sand. We can't forget about clay. They share the same level. So let's write clay together on that level too. C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can write below too if you don't have room. L. A. Y. Clay. We've got a layer of rock, layer of sand and clay. So this one up here, our last one is soil. Shh, just ignore it. Just leave it. Soil is our last one. Soil. So we're gonna label our top layer soil. S O I L. Soil. That's right, yep. The one right below the tree is soil. That top layer. Yes. Yes. That's right, yep. Soil. Mm hmm So we have rock, clay and sand, soil. Rock, clay and sand, soil. Good. Okay, now here comes the fun part, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. 
because soil is super interesting. Yeah, what we're gonna do now is you all are gonna do this in your own classroom. I'm gonna come around with some watercolor paints. Teacher will be, will be painting, not everybody. But so you all can begin coloring in your image, right? You can color the rest of it, whatever color you want. I'll be coming around with watercolors for one hand, right? We're gonna, I'm going to paint one of your hands and you're going to use it to make the top of your tree, right? That's gonna be the last part of the activity. So this will take a little bit since we'll take turns. So everyone just color on your own uh, and we'll get your tree filled out as a group. So join us when you're finished. Show me your hand. Good. <laughs> this paintbrush is awful. All right, show me how you can make it the top of your tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so, oh gosh, put that down. It's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, now here's this. Now you can use your colors to add whatever you want, okay? You can trace your finger like this, whatever you want, okay? Green, we want our tree to be green. Green, pink, more pink, white. Oh, orange. Hang on to that, Nadia, and we'll let two use it too, okay? <laughs> Tickle? So cute. Nadia, we can redo yours. It was the paintbrush's fault. Does it tickle or something? So cute. All right, now color the rest of it. There you go. Put that pen. Yeah, put it back over there, Laka. Put it back where you found it. Back over there. Put it over there. <laughs> Cold. Cold. <laughs> Green. Green, that's right. Green. We're using green for our tree. Green. Yeah, we're mixing them. Welcome back, everyone. We hope you had a good time. I know my class did. Uh, actually, I want to show you an example of maybe your worksheets came out something like this. So cute. So cute. Nice job, everyone. We will finish coloring with any extra time, but that's our last activity for today. So can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.